With Hy-Vee IndyCar Race Weekend fast approaching, there is excitement here at the Iowa Speedway in Newton. We are so excited to open up Iowa Speedway again for fans and IndyCar race drivers. They are going to have so much fun. And there's just as much excitement in the community to see race fans dollars speeding into local businesses. <laughs> I know that it's going to be a big boon for Newton. The, the city ex, uh, gets excited about the race is coming through. Kara Muta owns PJ's Deli on the Newton Town Square. She knows her busy lunch rush could accelerate steadily and dramatically in the days leading up to race weekend. We've had some pre-sales actually. A few of the um, racers and office people have already placed some orders with us this last week. So we're looking forward to it. We met Judy Williams who was having lunch at the deli. She is excited for races to return to the Iowa Speedway. Williams is happy to see the town she has lived in for more than 50 years take the checkered flag after a few disappointments. As you, everyone knows, Maytag left and, uh, and then TPI left and everything's just been kind of bah humbug, but it's a great place to live. The impact of Hy-Vee IndyCar Race Weekend will not stall at the Newton City limits. Surrounding towns all the way from Des Moines to Davenport, you'll feel the impact of this event. For the first time since July of 2020, cars will thunder around the Iowa Speedway track. And with more than 30,000 people expected to attend both Saturday and Sunday, the stands and the economic impact may be just as loud. In Newton, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. If you've never been, it's a lot of fun. Hy-Vee IndyCar Race Weekend starts with Free Friday, this Friday. The gates open up at 2 p.m. and entry and parking are free due to IndyCar practice. You can watch that for nothing. For tickets, go to hy IndyCar Weekend. Dot com.